Today we are going to configure Facebook Pixel on the Shopify store using Google Tag Manager. In the last video, we saw how we can configure it using the native app for Facebook and Instagram. However, if you are seeing some issues with the tracking that is provided natively, then you can always switch to Google Tag Manager and server containers. You need to know a few things before you make this decision of switching from the native integration to the Google Tag Manager web and server container. Uh, the complexity involved in this system is really high, so you either need someone who has done this thing before or you need to make sure that you understand all the things that are involved in this tracking setup because there are cookies involved and server-side tracking involved so this can be a little complicated if you have never done server-side tracking before having said that let's see what are the prerequisites of this video in this video you need to make sure that you have google tag manager container account you need to have a facebook business manager account and you need to make sure that you have a shopify store where we are going to configure this tracking setup if you have created all of these things then Great. This video is divided into four different sections. In the first section, we are going to see how we can configure Google Tag Manager container on the Shopify store. If you have already done that, you can jump to this timestamp. And in this section two, we are going to see how to configure the basic configuration tag for Facebook Pixel. Once we have done that, in the third section, we will do some testing. And in the fourth section, we will finalize all the changes. For the first section, let's head over to my computer and see where we need to go. So right now I am on the Google Tag Manager container and to set up the Google Tag Manager container on the Shopify store, we need to get two things from the Google Tag Manager account. They are going to be the tracking snippet codes that we need for the head and the body section of Shopify store. So under the admin section, you are going to go for the option of install Google Tag Manager container and here you will be represented with both the options for head and the body container code. Let's copy the head code so we can paste it inside the Shopify store. Let's head back to the Shopify store and under the sales channel, you might see an option for online store. Once you click on online store, it will automatically redirect you to the themes section. However, if you have different permissions that it cannot redirect you to the theme section. So make sure that you have access to the theme files of the store. Uh, before making any changes to the live code, we always recommend duplicating the files. So in case you mess something up, you can always go back. Uh, however, this is for tutorial. We are not going to do that. So let's hit edit code and this will take you to the theme files of your website. Uh, we are looking for a file called theme.liquid. So let's find that. And we are going to look for the opening head tag. This head tag is basically on all the pages of the website. So we are going to paste the Google Tag Manager head code that we copied right here. Let's head back to the Tag Manager and copy the body code. The body snippet is not required because if the JavaScript is not working on the website, that's when this body code works. But it's always good to have that. We are going to search for the opening body tag and paste the code right below it. Let's hit format code so it prettifies everything. And I just like the indentation it makes. It's, this step is not necessary and you might see some error depending on your theme file. Hit save and this is the first section of the video where we have successfully configured Google Tag Manager on the Shopify store. To verify if everything is working alright, let's hit back to the workspace section and click on preview. The preview window is basically connecting your store with the Shopify debug view so we can see all the events that are firing right now on the page. So on this Shopify store, we can see that we have the Google Tag Manager container loaded on the websites and that's well and good. So now for the second section, we need to configure Facebook Pixel on the Shopify store. So let's head over to the business manager and see how we can do that. On your business manager, you will see this all tools option no matter on which page you are. You might be on the business home page or you might be on some other page of your business manager, but you will always find this all tools options. And under the all tools option, we are going to look for the options of events manager. Once you click on the events manager, it will take you to the data sources of the Facebook business manager. Data sources are things that connect your Facebook business manager with your store or any other online application. There can be a few things that you need to know here, but for this video, we are not going to focus on that. Under the event manager on the left side, you will see a triangle which says data sources. So let's just click on the data sources and it will take you to the Facebook pixels. If you already have a pixel, then well and good. Otherwise, it will ask you to create a pixel when you are here. You can create connect data sources and you can also create a pixel from there. We are going to use this pixel which is called Tracking Academy. 
and we are going to set up all the events. There are two options to do this. One is using custom HTML tags and then the other one is using templates tag. In the second section of the video, we are going to use the custom HTML tag and in the third section, we will see how we can do the same thing using the templates. For the custom HTML tag, you need something that is called the tracking script which is very similar to how we had Google Tag Manager's tracking script. To get the tracking script, click on Add Events and you will see an option for Add New Integration. Once you click on Add New Integration, we are going to go for Meta option. So let's hit Setup and this will ask you for the manual setup. Let's hit Get Started and it will provide you with the base code that you need to paste on your website. Let's hit Copy Code and go back to the Google Tag Manager container. Under the Tag section of the Google Tag Manager container, you will see an option for creating a new tag on the top right corner. As we want this tag to fire on all the pages of the website, we are going to set the trigger to all pages and under the Tag configuration, we are going for a custom HTML tag. Let's paste the code that we have copied and let's indent it so it looks nice. And let's rename it to custom HTML Facebook configuration tag. The naming of the event tag does not matter. You can name it whatever you want and make sure that your spellings are not at bad as mine. Let's hit save. So just doing this thing has, what it has done is that it has added a custom HTML tag that will fire the configuration event. So let's just hit preview again to see if our Facebook pixel is working all right or not. Once the debug view is connected with your Shopify store, you can see that now we have a Facebook pixel firing on the website using Google Tag Manager. And one of the pixel is firing through the Shopify native integration that we configured in the last video. Let's just disconnect the Facebook channel for a minute so we can only focus on the Google Tag Manager events. Under the sales channels, we are going to look for Facebook and Instagram app. You need to have only one of these enabled. Either you need the native integration or you need the Facebook integration with Google Tag Manager. So let's go to Facebook and Instagram. Under the settings, you will see an option for data sharing. So let's click change. And under the data share option, we are going to turn it off for now. Let's hit save. Go back to the debug view that is connected to the website and hit refresh on the page. And now we should only have one Facebook pixel firing on the page. If you head back to the Shopify debug window, you will see that we only have one Facebook pixel that is firing on the page and we no longer have the other Facebook pixel that was firing. This is a simple way of how you can configure Facebook pixel configuration tag. However, you need to keep in mind that this does not set up enhanced e-commerce tracking. For enhanced e-commerce tracking, you need to follow all the other videos in the same playlist. Otherwise, you can simply go with the native integration. Uh, this has only configured the page view event and the standard events that comes with the Facebook pixel. However, in this section three, we are going to do the same thing. However, we are going to use a template. Templates are something that are made by the community and everyone else around the Google Tag Manager to make our life a little easier and we don't have to manage with the codes every day. So let's go to the template and see what kind of template we can use for Facebook pixel tracking. Under the tag template, we are going to search for a new template using the button on the top right corner which says Facebook pixel. This Facebook pixel tag is provided by Facebook archive team. This is the Facebook pixel team that is managing this Facebook pixel template. Let's hit add and what this will do is that this will add this Facebook pixel on our Google Tag Manager web container. So if we go back to the tag sections again and click on new I select the trigger as the same and under the tag configuration you might see a custom new tag from the gallery. So now you can select this Facebook pixel tag and this is very similar to how you might have Google Analytics 4, Google Ads or other tags. And this this looks a lot more cleaner but under the hood it's the same thing. The only thing we need for this one is Facebook pixel ID so let's head back to the Google tag manager container. All this need is a Facebook pixel ID so let's head to the Facebook business manager so we can copy the tracking ID for this Facebook pixel. This is the Facebook pixel ID, so let's copy this one and go back to the Google Tag Manager web container. Instead of pasting the value directly, we might need to use this Facebook pixel ID again and again. So let's hit plus to create a variable for this one. This variable is going to be a constant variable because we don't have to change its value anytime soon. So let's rename it Facebook pixel ID and hit save. So just doing this thing, what it has done is that created a Facebook pixel tag that fires the page view event whenever any page loads. So let's rename this tag to Facebook configuration tag. Perfect. Again, your spelling doesn't have to be bad as mine. Uh, since we have created the template tag using this, we don't need the other tag that we've done in the section two. So let's hit preview to see if this Facebook pixel custom HTML tag is firing or not. So the Google Tag Manager has been connected with the website and we can see that the Facebook pixel is perfectly firing. 
So that's awesome. And you also need to make sure that you also set up server side tracking along with this. However, the server side tracking videos will be covered later in this playlist. Right now, we are going to do all the e-commerce events uh, one by one. So in the section three, we have finally tested everything is working all right. So let's just publish the container and do a test on Facebook Business Manager to see if all the events are coming in correct. So let's rename this commit to Shazada Alias and Facebook Pixel Edit. Let's just publish and go back to the Facebook Pixel that we have. And under the test event, you can just enter the website URL. Let's copy the website URL from here. Once you enter the URL of the website here and hit open website, this will connect debug view similar to the Google Tag Manager debug view with the Shopify store. So now we can see that the page view pixel event has fired and under the event manager, you can also see that the page view has been registered. Let's head over to a few different pages to see how the page view events looks like on other events. And now we have navigated to two or three different pages and we can see that the page view event is coming in. You can also see that there is this custom event for microdata. These are automatically configured event by Facebook Pixel so you don't have to worry about that. And now this is how you can configure the Facebook Pixel configuration tag on your Shopify store.